Welcome to the Scoop School podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. He's no soft serve, but gets in a McFlurry over frozen desserts. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name is Steve Christensen. Welcome to the podcast, nice to have you here. We're broadcasting from our Scoop School facility in St. Louis, Missouri. Whether you are watching on our YouTube channel or listening on iTunes, we appreciate your support of the podcast. And we also appreciate Lloyd's Mix Company or Lloyd's of Pennsylvania, their support of the podcast. They have sponsored this episode, lloydsofpa.com. They basically make a huge range of mixes from low fat to high fat frozen custards they're extremely famous for and i would definitely go to lloyd's of pa l-l-o-y-d-s lloyd's of pa andy and barry jones a great crew even if you don't buy mix from them just you've got to go to a trade show and hang out with them play golf with them they're great guys lloydsofpa.com thank you andy and barry i do want to talk this uh brief episode about pint containers here i have a pint of our famous chocolate hazelnut gelato. In fact, you can see that I've actually taken a chunk out of that uh, for taste testing purposes, obviously. But has anyone ever explained to you, or have you ever thought about why the high-end ice cream companies such as Talenti, Ben & Jerry's, Haagen-Dazs, all of those guys that you see in the ice cream uh, aisle of your grocery store, your high-end grocery store, why they only sell in pint containers? Well, it's a lesson for you to take away uh, regarding the quality of your ice cream. You see, we've never sold anything larger than a pint in our ice cream shops. And the reason why that is, is because generally speaking, when someone opens up a pint of ice cream, whether it's by themselves sitting and watching uh, Game of Thrones, or they're sitting down sharing it with their beloved, you'll generally eat that whole pint. It's very rare that someone's gonna put a one eighth of a pint back in the freezer. The problem with putting ice cream back into the freezer, particularly high quality ice cream, high fat ice cream, is that the cyclic defrost process in someone's home freezer is going to play havoc with this product. So if I've basically eaten three quarters of this product and I put this in the back of my cyclic defrost freezer, that space between the top of the pint and where the product is, is going to warm and cool. You're gonna produce condensation, it's gonna get icy. And so when they find this pint again at the back of the freezer, they're gonna pop that off and go, this is icy, Uh, this must be rubbish ice cream that I got down there from ABC Ice Cream Shop. So their cyclic defrost freezer and the effects that it's having on your product is being blamed on you. So it's important in my opinion that if you're selling pints in your ice cream shop or if you're selling quarts, that quart should be two pints. You really should never sell anything larger than this container for a take home container in your ice cream shop because people aren't going to eat a quart of ice cream in one sitting, they're going to put it back in their freezer. Cyclic defrost is going to basically turn that into rubbish and they're going to blame your product or your business on the poor performance of the storage ability if there is or if that's a term on this ice cream. So only sell products that are in a pint size, that's why all of the larger high quality manufacturers sell in pints you will never see a quart of Ben & Jerry's ice cream unless you've bought it bulk at one of the stores. That's not to say that if someone wants to buy in bulk, you'll sell them a gallon and a half, a two gallon, or even a three gallon bucket. But for home use, for take home use, I really do recommend just using a pint as your container of choice. And if someone wants more than that, then they buy two pints, three pints or four pints. Uh, That's all we have for this episode. If you have any tips or tricks, that have worked for you in your ice cream business, send them through, share them with the ice cream community. We have literally tens of thousands of viewers every single month that tune in for our tips, tricks, and uh, problems to your ice cream conundrum. Send them through to steve at scoopschool.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode of the podcast.